Hi everyone, this is BrettFX here, and uh, I'm going to be bringing you some Hardline gameplay. So this is the first bit of Hardline gameplay that has been on my channel. And uh, basically within this uh, short little video, I'm going to talk about uh, kind of my first impressions of it. I don't have a whole lot of time involved in it. I've had other issues uh, and things that have popped up that I've been taking care of. But uh, yeah, so far I've had um, almost no fun with it actually on the smaller maps. It has been a nightmare for me to play. And I know that uh, there are a lot of differing thoughts right now. A lot of people saying that it is much better than BF4 in terms of the gunplay and the registration. Uh, to, for me, it's the exact opposite. Uh, I deal with a lot of getting behind or killed behind walls. Uh, I deal with uh, a lot of just reg. It, just no reg, just no reg at all, and it's random. It is very random. You know, uh, sometimes I can just walk through a room and just go all terminated on their ass, and uh, they can't hit me. And then sometimes, you know, I, I basically just step around a corner and I instantly die by a freaking handgun, and it's just like, oh, okay, sure, what you you betcha. And <laughs> it's just it's just really weird stuff. But anyways, I'm not here to bash on it uh, as much, but uh, I am going to be giving a, a you know some positive thoughts as well. I think the sniping. Is wonderful. Um, all of this video that you're going to be seeing is from I think two or three Dust Bowl gameplays, uh, all on Conquest, and uh, it's it, sniping feels good. Uh, it, it feels a lot better than in BF4. BF4 felt very sluggish. Uh, it felt like it was not going where you were supposed to be pointing, and uh, I know they did that to try and prevent a lot of quick scopers and blah 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 blah. Basically, they took the fun out of sniping, and the fun is back in sniping for Hardline. Uh, the only problem that I have with sniping right now for Hardline is the fact that uh, it still feels like it's a little random. Um, there are times when I know I'm right on the guy and I'm just not getting a hit marker. Now, I don't know if I'm just not getting a hit marker and I actually am doing damage to the guy or if I'm just not registering a shot on him. Because uh, you will see a couple of times where I, I, I just I can't get the lead down or the drop. The bullet drop and the lead in this game just I have not been able to understand and I don't know if it's because I can't see the bullet that well like you could in Battlefield 3 uh, or uh, oh watch this right here's a double kill I didn't even know I had a double kill unless I watch or until I watched the uh, video back but uh, boom right there so that was that was pretty cool but um, you know th the sniping is snappier this part right here though I put in for uh, on purpose that was an upper body shot to headshot, in my opinion, and his one health, like, come on, guys, like that, that should be a kill. But uh, anywho's, um, I would like to see maybe the uh, the uh, ability to pull out your handgun a little bit faster. Now I don't know. The only gun that I've been able to use so far is the G18, so I don't know if the Tech Nine uh, is any faster or if any of the other handguns uh, that you can have as the recon kit or the sniper kit is any faster. Uh, but I would definitely love that ability because. To finish off those shots, you need to be able to pull out a handgun fast, your secondary, to do the uh, the closing shots. Now, for the gun that I am using currently right now, it's like the R700, I believe. Uh, I was using the Scout Elite, and I like the Scout. Uh, the Scout is very fun, really, really fast rate of fire, and you can really have a lot of good follow-up shots. But the 700 is, uh, it feels more powerful uh, to me, and it just may be a placebo effect there. But it feels more powerful. I, I like it. But... Uh, uh, quick scoping to me is going to be back in if they don't change the sniping, which I hope they don't. Uh, it, very, very fun for me. So far, all I've done for the most part uh, for the last day, uh, two days maybe, is is just sniping. That, that's all I've been doing. Just because it's so much more fun than the rest of the game right now. Um, I do think that uh, I do think that the Levolution effects thing that, that was in this uh, downtown and on this map... Are not needed. I think that they actually detract from the gameplay as opposed to adding it. Uh, but then again, I didn't. I didn't like the Levolution effects in Battlefield 4 either. I thought that they detracted from the game instead of adding to it. So uh, hoping that uh, maybe that'll be like a server setting that we can turn off. Um, cool news though is that uh, we did get a little bit of a sneak peek into Hostage. It was on a server. I guess it was glitched or whatever, but uh, I did get to spectate some Hostage gameplay. Uh, a bunch of puppies, a bunch of randoms, so no no teams have been in it. But I do have footage of that, and I'll probably try and splice it together and uh, just kind of give you my thoughts on what I saw, uh, what I think you know needs to be added, needs to be changed. Uh, it is confirmed that has said that the uh, rounds on all of the ground-based modes, so Hostage and uh, Crosshair, will be uh, 
will be edited. So you'll be able to have, you know, 16, it, from what I understand, is you'll be able to have 16, 20 rounds, whatever you want it to be, instead of just the standard nine, which is, it's a best of nine right now, not a first to nine, which is what the, the actual thing says. So uh, very exciting stuff there. That's that's awesome for the competitive scene. You know, that I, I diffused, that was one of the big problems was that you had to play so many rounds of it all at once. But hopefully, uh, hopefully we'll get some uh, really cool gameplays out of the two new round based modes um but uh, yeah so i think that uh, right now hardline is not not really that much better than battlefield 4 in, in the state of it at the moment um like i said my experience has been kind of like what battlefield 4 is and other than the fact that the the sniping feels better i think that for the most part it's Battlefield 4. Uh, you guys may disagree with me, which is fine. And if you do, you can let me know down in the comments below. To each his own. You know, I'm not trying to argue with you guys or tell you that you're wrong. But uh, to me, it does not feel like it's any differently. Doesn't mean that I won't buy the game. I will probably buy the game. Uh, and I'll probably buy it on uh, PlayStation 4 and Xbox for the competitive scene that's probably going to transition over there to those consoles for casting purposes. Um, but uh, this this will probably be like something that I play just for fun. I, I probably, as of right now, I'm probably only going to be sniping in it, so I'll probably be uh, you know gravitating towards more uh, sniping centric maps. Uh, hopefully that TDM will be pretty fun. I'm looking forward to uh, checking that out as well. But uh, we didn't get any uh, we didn't really get any just kill oriented modes. You know even heist you could say um is not really a kill oriented mode because uh games usually don't last that long because you have one team that ends up just beating the crap out of the other team but uh uh i also think that the map designs are not that great um dust bowl comes down to too much of a choke point i think that heist is uh, way too easy to get spawn trapped in and uh or on bank job and then i think that downtown is just a bad map in general i've never i didn't enjoy that map uh, the first time I played it in the first beta, and I didn't enjoy it in the second one either. So I'm not trying to sound like Mr. Negative here, but I think that the map design is just way off. And I think that the game modes, for the most part, are way off as well. I don't like uh, Heist. I think Heist is just going to be something that um, is not going to be very fun because of the imbalance in teams. And uh, I think that uh, um, what's the Hotwire is going to be just boring. I played that uh, twice, and both times I think the top score or top score with the kills had like five kills uh, on both teams. And to me, I don't play a first-person shooter to drive around. I play a first-person shooter to shoot people, and it just it was just not fun. It was not enjoyable for me. So I, I'm I'm going to be sticking to more of the conquest style things. I'm hoping that conquest five v fives is going to be viable in this game. That would be amazing. But uh, anywho, yeah, there there is my. A uh, little take on uh, on Battlefield Hardline right now. I am going to be having, like I said, uh, some more videos posted up, probably two or three um, as the beta comes to a close. But uh, definitely let me know what you guys think. Uh, are you guys enjoying it so far? I know a lot of people on Twitter are. Uh, they think that it's the greatest thing since Swiss Butter. Uh, yeah, Swiss Butter. That, that made <laughs> a lot of sense. But, uh, yeah, guys, I'm going to be heading out here. I hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you next time.